I am studying for my farm test on Monday. I've been here since three-ish and it's 5.45, so it's been like two and a half hours. Is it two and a half hours? Two hours and 45 minutes, just about. It is Saturday though, and I'm trying to get as much done right now because I'm getting dinner with my friends and I already had to cancel on my bowling plans with them because I still have so much to do. I finished one chapter out of the three though for med cards. Pretty much just charts for like the meds I have to know. So I finished a chapter, this is one whole chapter. It's quite a few, but now I'm starting the second one. Hopefully I can finish the second one because the third one is something we already covered in a different class. So I feel okay about it and yeah. I guess that's it. <laughs> guess I'll just check in with you guys when I'm done studying. I want to keep vlogging stuff, but I feel like every time I put stuff in the vlog, it seems like it's just the same thing over and over again. We study every Sunday night, I have class at the same time, do the same thing every Monday, no class Tuesday, Wednesday is just a really long day, chilling on Thursday, and then clinicals on Friday. I'm sorry if it seems so repetitive, I'll try to like insert more clips of other things that go on in my life, like the times that I go out with my friends just to take a break, they're just introducing my friends but for now this will be a momentary goodbye until the next time I check in later tonight Yesterday, I studied for nine hours. And you Whoa. studied for however long we were together. Well, that wasn't so bad. It could have 100% been way worse. But I also think that comes with the fact that me and Naomi studied quite a bit this time around. So I'm kind of happy with my score. I scored in the higher range again for this test. So I'm not even upset. We got our paper where we indicate what clinicals we want next quarter and I pretty much found out that I'm only taking two classes, two very difficult classes by the way, and my lecture is only on Monday which leaves the rest of the week pretty much open for clinicals. For the days that I chose, I chose pretty much back-to-back -back clinicals Tuesdays and Wednesdays so that I would have Thursday and Friday off. And this sounds like really stupid of me to have chosen back-to-back -back clinicals for two different classes, especially when they're both 12-hour shifts. But I have a very good reason for it. I am going to a concert in February next quarter, and it falls on a Thursday night. So strategically thinking, since it's gonna be pretty far from me, if I ended up having clinicals on a Thursday, I would end up getting out at like 6.30, It'd be pretty much a push to try to make it in time and my boyfriend already paid for the ticket so I can't really say no and I really want to go to this concert but me and Naomi signed up for the same one so we get into the same clinical group because I would really love that if we were because I mean I don't think I would ever be able to survive without her and yeah I guess I'll talk to you guys later oh wait 
And also, right now, I'm gonna head over to my other best friend's house. It's her birthday today, so I might even put them in the vlog because we're gonna go out and get dinner. <laughs> That's the box. That's Oh, that's the box you ate? Shit, Jody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been eating so much crap. <laughs> it's <That's> okay. No <laughs> Now it's a party oh, now. <laughs> It's like 8.45 or like 8 something and my voice is just really raspy. I didn't even know it was really raspy because I haven't talked yet. But late last night, I totally forgot that I had an assignment that was due. So that was a little bit of a disaster. I think it was like 12.30 at night. And I was about to go to bed because I was trying to get to bed by 1. But something in my gut just told me that I was not done yet. <laughs> Thank God I checked. Because when I checked, it said that I did have something due this morning. I was like, I'm not going to wake up early just to do this. I might as well get it done now. So in a rush, I just finished it. Um, didn't do the best job, but... It's done. I woke up and then I realized that I had woken up before my alarm and I tried to go back to sleep. It felt like I was just closing my eyes waiting for my alarm to ring. Do you guys ever do that? I feel like I do that a lot. I don't know how like beauty gurus do this where they like do their makeup and talk. It's freaking hard. I know a lot of them do voiceovers, but still. I know some of them do talk through tutorials and this is just difficult. <laughs> I cannot have a conversation and try to do my eyebrows correctly. It's just not happening. So, I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna finish my makeup and then we're gonna go to school. So, I totally forgot to mention a few days ago I took my second pharmacology test on Monday. We didn't get our scores until like Wednesday morning-ish. When we got our scores back, questions got tossed out. So my grade shot up 5%. And I am so happy with my grade and very surprised, but at the same time proud of myself because that means that me and Naomi are learning how to adapt to the tests and how the questions are asked and we're studying smarter and not harder <laughs> i am currently editing a bunch of the videos that i'm going to be posting for this week anyways oh hi i was trying to explain to my friends like my social situation right now and the thing is like i don't know i've been like really panicky about school just by how 
all right I'm doing. So I feel like I'm putting too much pressure on myself to do better. And so when social like events come up and my friends want to hang and like we all want to do stuff or like I want to do something for myself that's fun and non-school related, I end up talking myself out of it just in the panic of like, oh no, that's time I could be using to study. I should be doing homework and all these thoughts just come flooding into my head and with school it's just really hard to get myself to go to things that are fun and that's usually been my problem all along and just trying to get to whatever social gathering or hangout I'm invited to it's just getting there that's the big issue for me otherwise once I'm there I usually have a good time but recently I've been complaining that I am bored out of my mind, but it's like my fault <laughs> because I keep talking myself out of going to so many things and I end up just staying at home and doing nothing and just reading and studying, so. But yeah, I'm gonna go to my doctor's office and I'm just gonna go home after this. <laughs> Even after that whole rant of me explaining why I need to be more social, I'm still not gonna go anywhere, so. There's that! <laughs> freaking cold today. I feel like I'm about to get frostbite in my car. <laughs> oh, you can see the pretty sunrise behind me. I'm gonna go ahead and head over to clinicals today. I hope today's a good day because we just don't have time for bad days, you know? Coffee in my I just like coffee beans. <laughs> <laughs>